What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. In 2019, the TV show Suits ended after nine seasons. Four years later, the show became popular again when its first eight episodes were added to Netflix in June. Many new fans started watching to see what happened to the characters like Mike Ross, Harvey Specter, Donna Paulson, and Rachel Zane. Now viewers are wondering if there will be a new season. But the creator Aaron Korsh said on Twitter in August that there's no plan for a reboot or anything new. He mentioned that it would require various factors like the writer's strike ending, a network or streaming service showing interest, and everyone involved wanting to do it. Despite this, the executive producer Gene Klein has a different opinion. He expects to hear about the show returning sooner or later considering the trend of reboots and reunions in the entertainment industry. So while the creator seems against it, the producer is more optimistic about the possibility of Suits coming back. So before we dive into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay updated on all the latest videos from our channel. Now let's get into the intriguing world of Suits. Suits created by Aaron Korsh premiered on June 23, 2011 on the USA Network. The series garnered attention for its slick storytelling and captivating characters led by Gabriel Matched as Harvey Specter and Patrick J. Adams as Mike Ross. Although successful during its initial run, Suits experienced a resurgence in popularity when it landed on Netflix in 2023, becoming the platform's most watched show surpassing even Stranger Things. Amidst the renewed interest, fans began clamoring for more, leading to speculations about a potential season 10. While the future of the original series remains uncertain, there's exciting news about a Suits spin-off currently in development by Aaron Korsh and NBC Universal. The spin-off will introduce a new character named Erica, an entertainment lawyer in her 30s who is a black SoCal native and Harvard Law alum. Described as ambitious and smart, Erica navigates the high-powered legal landscape in Los Angeles. The spin-off promises to be a fresh take separate from the original series, offering fans a new protagonist and a unique storyline. Fans of the original series will be quick to draw comparisons between Erica and Meghan Markle's character Rachel Zane. However, as the spin-off takes shape, it's likely that Erica will establish her own distinct identity within the Suits universe. As of now, the role of Erica remains uncast and further details about additional characters are yet to be revealed. The anticipation around the spin-off grows and fans are eager to see how this new chapter in the Suits universe unfolds. Switching gears to the original series, Suits wrapped up its story with Season 9 which concluded with a satisfying yet open-ended finale. The last season, with only 10 episodes compared to the previous average of 13 to 14 episodes per season, left fans with questions about the decision-making behind the show's conclusion. Some speculate whether external factors such as pressure from the USA Network influenced the creators to wrap up storylines more quickly. Others wonder if the writers faced challenges in maintaining the quality of the show or if they simply chose a concise conclusion. The season 9 finale titled One Last Con brought closure to various plot lines featuring two anticipated weddings, a birth, and a significant reveal. Harvey and Donna, after years of on and off romance, finally tied the knot, bringing relief to fans. In a surprising twist, Harvey and Donna decide to join Mike and Rachel at their firm in Seattle. The finale also sees Louis Litt having a happy ending as he gets married to Sheila and they welcome a baby together. The characters, along with their allies, successfully remove Faye Richardson, concluding a season-long struggle. Mike Ross makes a welcomed appearance, helping his former friends navigate the challenges at the firm. However, as fans bid farewell to characters they've followed for nine years, questions linger. The departure of key characters like Mike, Rachel, and Jessica raises uncertainties about the future of the firm. Will Season 10 explore how Harvey adjusts to a different legal landscape, or will he eventually return to the original firm? One of the most intriguing dynamics to watch in a potential Season 10 is the shift in power between Harvey and Mike. For nine seasons, Harvey served as a mentor to Mike, guiding him through the legal world. 
With the announcement that Harvey will join Mike's firm, the tables turn, presenting an exciting dynamic to explore. The potential for quirky dialogues and renewed interactions between Harvey and Mike adds a layer of excitement for fans. The show has always thrived on its character relationships, and this shift promises a fresh perspective on their dynamic. While Season 10 remains a possibility, it's essential to acknowledge the decline in the show's charm after Season 7, following the exit of key characters. The introduction of new faces attempted to keep the show going, but the chemistry of the original cast was irreplaceable. While many details are still being kept secret, the latest update reveals progress in the suit spin-off. The show has officially named its first character and provided some insights into the plot. Confirming its separation from the original series, the spin-off will follow entertainment lawyer Erica in Los Angeles. Described as a black SoCal native in her 30s and a Harvard Law alum, Erica is ambitious, aiming to become the head of entertainment. Despite excelling in client interactions, she faces challenges elsewhere and is noted for her exceptional intelligence. The introduction of Erica has sparked comparisons to Meghan Markle's character Rachel Zane from the original series. However, distinctions are expected to emerge as the spin-off evolves. As of now, Erica's role remains uncast and no other characters or cast members have been disclosed. Aaron Korsh officially announced the new Suits spin-off in October 2023 via Deadline, signaling the early stages of development and ongoing negotiations between Korsh and NBC Universal. Additional details have emerged, emphasizing a new narrative within the Suits universe. Not labeled as a reboot or the long-awaited Suits revival, this spin-off is set in Los Angeles, focusing on entertainment lawyers suggesting minimal crossover with the original series' characters. Although it's not a reboot, the spin-off maintains the events of Suits as canon, acknowledging the existence of Donna, Mike, and Harvey in this world. While the core cast's involvement is uncertain given the success of Suits on Netflix, there is a potential for their appearance or even central roles. Initially shrouded in mystery, the plot of the Suits spin-off has now been unveiled. It will take place in the same universe as the original series but is centered around an entertainment law firm in Los Angeles. Erica, the sole known character so far, is a young entertainment lawyer aspiring to lead the firm's entertainment division. While it remains unclear if she will be the lead or in a supporting role, Erica's character is poised for a dynamic trajectory reminiscent of the original series' characters. The Suits spin-off is making strides with the introduction of Erica and the setting of Los Angeles. While it respects the canonical events of Suits, it promises a fresh narrative, a unique focus, and a world of entertainment law. The details may be unfolding gradually, but anticipation among fans is undoubtedly building for this new chapter in the Suits universe. And that's a wrap for today's video, folks. We hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this content. If it resonated with you, please take a moment to show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more amazing content. Your feedback is invaluable, so don't forget to leave a comment below sharing what impressed you the most in this video. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.